Well, it's amazing. Uh, it was the first time, a uh, big time lacrosse game I ever watched. I re remember walking into the dome and how amazing it felt and, and watching the team warm up and, and uh, the, the, the action happening in the dome. And um, to, to walk in and see something that special and see the flair and the swagger of the, of the players. And, and then to have the opportunity to play there was, was amazing. But uh, uh, to be part of its history and understanding uh, how long it's been around and, and what an impact it's made is, um, you know, being 100 years and, and how it built uh, to where it is now uh, was, is, is pretty special. It was a really cool. Uh, we grew up fantasizing about being Syracuse lacrosse players in our backyard, and to have the opportunity to go there, and, and my brothers uh, uh, following me, and, and uh, I had a great career, and my brother Ryan uh, one upped it, and my brother Mike, uh, you know, upped up my my brother Ryan. So uh, to uh, you know, kind of be the leader of the pack was uh, was extra special, and, and have the opportunity to play with my brother Ryan, and then watch my brother uh, Mike have arguably one of the most decorated college. Uh, uh, lacrosse careers of all time was uh, very special, so it's, uh, it was neat that we grew up, uh, that's what we wanted to do, and we, we went for it and we did it. Well, I think it has a lot to say about the, uh, the program. I think it's uh, the whole athletic department has been very loyal, and uh, they've been very lucky to have some special, special men representing them. Um, I was, uh, I've uh, met three of them before, and uh, um, uh, Roy Simmons Sr. is a very special man uh, that I met briefly and I uh, got to play for his uh, son, Roy Simmons Jr., who's, uh, in my opinion, the greatest lacrosse coach of all time, and, and uh, Coach John Desco, who's currently there now, as uh, I was able to play for him as well, and he's done a fantastic job in upholding the tradition. Well, uh, I looked at a few different colleges. Um, I, I was instantly inspired by, uh, by Syracuse, and that's where I wanted to go. But then uh, as I got a little bit older, I learned more of other schools and other universities, and I had, had interest in going to North Carolina. I had a great trip at, at Loyola. Um, I uh, was interested in University of Massachusetts. So, um, you know, those, they came into play, and it was great meeting new people and new coaches and, and uh, going on great recruiting trips to seeing what other universities offered. But uh, uh, the reason I went to Syracuse was a lot to uh, to do with uh, Coach Simmons and uh, the aura of the Carrier Dome and the, and the uh, historic program and, and the fact that my idols and my heroes, the Gate Brothers, went there. So uh, when that opportunity pre presented itself, uh, although I had some, uh, tough, some tough decisions to make, um, it was great to be a part of uh, uh, fulfilling my dream and, and that's exactly what I did. Yeah, I, I think uh, the Gate Brothers uh, changed the game forever. They uh, they were the first uh, mega superstars of lacrosse, and uh, they had in, uh, highlight videos and instru instructional videos. And we would go in our backyard and, and uh, mimic the videos. Uh, we'd have our personal camcorder weighed about you know 90 pounds back then on the shoulder, and and we'd we'd uh, you know try to copy their uh, the way they talked and the and the way they uh, displayed. Um, you know the, the moves, and uh, and then Charlie Lockwood, following in number 22, um, was uh, you know huge and athletic, and he played with a certain style and a, a certain swagger as well. So to, to be able to go there and, and and play and be put on a pedestal and and, and rock the number 22 jersey and, and be a part of it all was awesome. And then uh, my brother Mike and and uh, Ryan carried on that tradition, winning national championships and Player of the Year awards. So uh, we all pitched in to kind of. Uh, add to the legacy of uh, the superstars of uh, Syracuse Lacrosse. Um, well, is uh, a lot of fond memories uh, for sure, but I, I think one of them uh, personally was uh, uh, my last game and Coach Simmons' last game. And uh, I remember the uh, uh, pregame hug and uh, that was really special, and I remember uh, the feeling I had when my brother Ryan tied uh, the uh, all-time record, 19 seconds left. Uh, that was awesome, and then uh, to be in attendance at Georgetown University when my brother Mike broke the record. So um, I've uh, had some personal great moments, and then to be able to follow it up by watching my brothers was awesome. <laughs>